while both episodes five and six were indescribable, but not in a good way, they were really, really unbelievable. So episode five basically had a few decent elements, but was really, really, really bad. However, the final episode was catastrophically stupid and bad. And it did have a few decent things about it, but really, it, yeah, just worthless. It was really shocking. I think they've really reached a low point. Now, it's not as bad as She-Hulk, and it's not as bad as, say, Game of Thrones Season 8. Not the worst television you'll ever see. But it's in the very, very, very low quadrant, and it's pretty sad. So, what essentially happened? Well, I guess you could say with Episode 5... Again, some of the twists were okay, they held up, but it was very, very predictable. Some of the action was performed fine, but I did notice a few massive editing mistakes, and some of it just looked bad. Like, there's just a consistent problem with Amelia Clark and her stunt, I guess, team, because it is very noticeable when she is not playing herself. It is way too noticeable. But her acting was fairly decent. It was even decent in Episode 6, but where the story went was so horrifically bad it really is comparable to Daenerys it was just like she was not well served and it started off good you kind of thought you knew where they were going but no they managed to take a lot of good character growth and just totally threw it away so it's really shocking but not in a good way but again episode 5 did at least build up to episode 6 decently however where they went from there was I, I'm just like it's shocking it's really puzzling why they went where they went and it didn't even look good it looked really really bad and probably the strongest thing the show had going for it, at least the early episodes up to episode four it maintains some consistency with visual effects and at least some of the makeup but episode six now they threw it all away episode five was also really bad there's a moment with gravic i'm not going to do details because there's no spoilers but he kills someone and it was just like oh oh it looked really really bad it looked really really bad and I've given up on Gravig, so I'm kind of glad how they ended the story there, but he's just annoying. He was just annoying the last couple episodes. He was just annoying. Just very, very simple. I'm going to take over the world. I'm really, really bad. I'm really, really evil. And when a villain is down to just screaming how evil they are, it's not a good character. It's just pointless. It's just a pointless plot point. So I guess you could say the best thing about this whole series is Samuel Jackson doing his Samuel Jackson speeches was fine. Uh, some of the minor performances were okay. But really, they could have just made a really strong 90-minute movie. Instead, they just stretched things out. And yes, I will credit them. They at least solved a few world-building issues with the scrolls. But they managed to create 10 world-building problems in the process. So you're like, okay, you solved two problems, but you created 10 new ones. And it was just boring. It just was not even exciting at the end. So episode 5 at least was entertaining enough, but episode 6 was just, it was just jaw-droppingly bad, jaw-droppingly stupid. It was really, really terrible. Not Game of Thrones season 8 terrible, but season 7 terrible. So there we go. I guess I would be forced to give episode 5 like a 5.5 out of 10. That's being very generous. And episode 6 like 4.5 out of 10. So it's not completely sharknado territory but it was damn close and yeah i'm puzzling as to try to provide justification for even seeing any episode now but i guess you'd say well two-thirds it was okay-ish but not necessary and the final two episodes were just catastrophically stupid so they make a lot of other disney plus shows look really good in comparison and that's the best thing you can say about the final episodes of secret invasion really really lame and stupid